Today I went down to Daytona Motorcycles in Ryslip and had a go on the 2016-0 DSR or the Dual Sport Rider. Now this bike will do about 150 miles in town on a full charge. However the dealer said he got 100 miles from 25% of the battery which I kind of doubt considering I use 10% on my ride round here. The motor puts out about 67 horsepower or 50 kilowatts. So that means if you've got an A2 license, you can quite happily ride one of these. Now, 67 horsepower for a big bike is, is, is perfect. It's more than enough. But it's not just about the horsepower. The torque that comes out of this electric motor is 144 newton meters. And that is that is brilliant. That, that's a lot of torque. Nice bit of torque for you to play about with. Charging this up will cost you around about two pounds depending on your electricity company and all sorts of variables but it does take eight and a half hours to charge from a normal free free pin plug at home but if you've got a max charger uh, like you do in, in some town centers it'll take about two 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 hours just over two hours now you do need to buy an adapter for that one but if you're charging it from home it's about eight and a half hours but you can check the charge there on your phone it weighs around 190 kilograms and it has a high seat at 143 millimeters so it's nice for me six foot one uh, nice amount of room there legs just touching the ground it's quite nice it has shower suspension Bosch ABS and it had this little box sort of where the petrol tank would be to store I'm guessing your charging wires and all the rest of it so you can hide some shopping or some sweets in there but the on-road price for this bike is about fourteen hundred pounds so it is quite expensive but it is quite a nice bike and they're not really that mainstream at the moment so you, you're gonna be paying that little bit extra for a little little bit of a niche market bike but it, it's really good it's very useful it's it's got a lot of usable power and I, I was surprised. It, it's an electric bike and it, it does everything you'd want from a bike for a daily commute. Uh, maybe not for a longer trip out, but definitely if you're just doing short trips to work every day and going out for a quick zip about with friends, it's um, it's more than enough. Zero motorcycles have been traded since about 2006 with different prototype models. They come from Santa Cruz in California but they've recently started making inroads into Europe via the Netherlands. Now they don't have any of their own dealerships at the moment, but they are using authorised dealers uh, like Daytona Motorcycles down in Ryslip, who uh, kind of let me go out on this bike. So I've got some footage of me riding the bike, and I hope you enjoy. It was it was a very fun bike to ride, and um, I hope you find this of some use to you. Oh my god, this is this feels crazy. This is so strange. It's really light as well. I thought it would be really heavy with the battery, but this is really light and quiet. Just the horn, let's, let's give the horn a go. Yeah. response well I'm in sport at the moment but the throw response is nice I just went to go and get the clutch there's no clutch there for me to grab oh there's no gear lever either oh that's weird oh I feel strange I just went to click down and there's just nothing to click down It does feel like a big motorbike. Oh, it's very quiet, but when you do pull that throttle down, you do hear the nice buzz from the electric motor just dragging you along, and it has got a lot of torque. going for that clutch. Oh, not looking, thank you. It's got nice wide, wide handlebar. 
like this is the uh, the dual sport one. So you got nice wide handlebars, no leak uh, tyres on there. This has got the uh, the power pack, the big power pack, so it's got the large battery in it. Oh, it's not. It is not. I feel like I'm saving the environment right now. It is all I can hear is the wind. A little bit of wind. Can you see me? You can. Oh! Blooming heck, it does. Uh, you, once you pull that throttle back, it does drag you along. This well, is very I'm, nice. I'm quite, you could, uh, I could live with this bike. I could live with it. It's not heavy at all. You can really get some twisting going on there. It feels well balanced. It's got a nice bit of torque. I think it's even air two compliant as well. So if you've got a smaller bike license, you can ride. Whoa, one of these. Fuck. That's good. Yes, I approve. I approve of this uh, of this motorcycle's uh, ability to overtake people.